sana kwa sana battle rap reviews karibu sana kwa yet another edition za JHH za the HHG battle rap reviews na asante sana kwa the subscription gang notifications team ya ninashukuru sana for being here for subscribing let's keep growing ushugli pamoja na so this this ili kwa interesting alia on saturday morning kabla nilale nilikuwa na watch nilikuwa na watch video ya Danny Myers and ilikuwa performance ya Baze nilikuwa perform against Jay Kruger na ikakuwa a no show Kruger ku show up so nilikuwa na watch Danny Myers kenye ilikuwa perform little did i know that later in the day kungekuwa na something similar up at home <laughs> kwa battle ya pasipi versus Elijah Moz watu walikuwa curious kwa Elijah Moz wa soulmate aki battle battle yake ya kwanza but kulikuwa na pasipi mwenye amekuwa more experienced from last year amekuwa na quite a number of battles to that to, to that point three to be specific mbili against Kosi the main man alafu moja against Sibi the god ilikuwa iko yake nne Elijah Moz akutokea to cover any reason to point explanation but pasipi ali perform round yake moja after battle ya Shape MC na Nemesis and ilikuwa vicious fire and <laughs> Elijah Moses the prophet ni kama ni kama the previous night akilala alipati your vision akambiwa na Mola manze usitoke usi show up kuna fire inakusubiri yenye utawezana mola wake akamsave pasipia li perform wanileta prophet of berlin kuwait berlin kuwait but prophet of berlin jo alikuwa na battle ile jamuz and kuna hii moja i just have to read this kuna kenya alisema yani okay mbili kuna alisema mnatumia face mask kuficha mimba cheni ujinga Ooh. but the following thing alisema ile jamuzes truly you're a prophet uliona mapema career yako haita wai deliver that's why ulianzisha rap duo na ule diva ndio huwa unapanguza machozi literally na mimba afuta kumdinya na hiyo ilikuwa round 1 at you wote ile jamonza alikuwa amepanga but tunajua experience ya pasipi plus ali perform the round one yenye ilikuwa lete fire 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 sana hii battle na kenye ingekuwa possible ama impossible ni kwa tukapea nitumie hii nafasi kupeana an overview ya the event na feedback na review ya the event kwanza na feel if such a thing happens one from the battler himself apeane the reason na apeane explanation yao ya to make it that's one and then peer on the organizing team au peer waambie fans mbona umse akutokea so au ni watu wawili wenye ko responsible for that organizers naweka battle mc mwenye umekuwa contracted ku perform juu ma fans wame make their investment in terms of time wameamua ku show up na peer ni kama the team wenye wamepanga hii battle meuzia the fans your promise that kuna hii battle mnafaa ku expect as part of the cards alafu it's a no show so those two parties wanafaa ku peana sababu na waambie mashabik hivi ndivyo kulienda tunajua pia of course in terms of now you the brand believability and the trust yenye my fans wanakuwa na wanafaa kuwa nayo kwenu inaweza didimia because of that. Alafu pia where the battle MC huja tuambia nili happen. What are we supposed to think kama tunafaa kufanya nini? Importantly na feel kuna those who when you choose to invest their money in this. Now that's a whole another conversation pia for them. Ju umetoa do ku sponsor easy cards na ku sponsor the show alafu battle moja hai happen how do you 
reconcile that na watu kama hao hiyo pia na fini an important aspect yenye inafaa kushughulikiwa which leads me to this again so in terms of performances for this card pasi pia amekuwa consistent one and ame battle vin msema ingi kwa his fourth battle within a span of 12 14 months usually battle kwa Armageddon mara kwanza ka battle uncut aka battle then CB the god sijui kama uncut ilikuja kwanza ama yake na CB ili ilikuja before si kwa sure but usa three battles and then ilikuwa iko the fourth but tukiangalia last year alone ali battle thrice ami kwa consistent the only other MC who comes closest am actually who is more consistent ni Nemesis and Nemesis has always delivered the point hapa ni ukiangalia the MCs when we were consistent and we saw to angalia last year and this year yeye na Nemesis their performance pia inapanda their stage performance inapanda their stage presence wana wanajua how to work the stage and also their writing in a improve na wanajua how to perform and write more than other MCs and ndio Kenya nasema sasa in terms of performance na kuangalia how tunaweza improve the battle rap culture in Kenya because hii imekuwa the the weakest quarantine isolation battles battle yenye tume have so far we've had four and as asema hii imekuwa the weakest tukiangalia battle ya Tasha na Lone Wolf which ni me review na nitaka link hapa kama hujaiona the performance trajectory nilisema ilienda ikishuka na uko na Sharp MC versus Nemesis Sharp MC didn't bring it unajua on that afternoon and this is this is my hypothesis the last time Sharp MC ali battle ilikuwa December ground zero battle ya hip hop garage it's almost 12 months since your time ndo na battle tena and see at the battle yako na nemesis ume prepare for it for 6 months or even 4 months it maybe it's a 2 month 1 month thing so the other months mind yako ijako kwa hiyo zone ya ku battle hujako kipata other opponents wa ku face perhaps you've been writing battle rhymes yes but hujapewa an opponent whom you specifically focusing on na una craft for and it happens pia for other MCs because hatuko ile point where MCs wanaweza kulia hii craft but it should be that way ama at least inafaa kwa something you're building upon so kuna the aspect here this is a side thing and a side art and side hustle for battle MCs because wanafanya kitu kingine and ina affect the craft and ina affect the performance kuna the idea that unaweza kuwa featured sana and it affect your performance but pia kuna the idea that the longer una take between the battles hakuna hakuna predictability in terms of how good unaweza perform as far as the fans now go whereby tunasema tuko guaranteed msani fulani atatupatia good performance hakuna hiyo predictability juu so hatuja kuona since this time hatukushua Kenya utafanya tunafaa kuona hiyo consistency ndio pia tuweze ku build upon this craft na ifikia point where artists are able to feed from this so that's the challenge yenye inaweza nayo in terms of performance na in terms of this being a con- this being the weakest of the quarantine battles mostly ni performance na pia issue ya writing pasipina nemesis tumeona performance yao na their consistency vinye inoa saidia sai sai literally nemesis the, the most dangerous battle mc ame prove it three battles zenye amekuwa nazo hiyo ni challenge kwa mcs wengine wenye unajua because mo, mostly ni unaona kuna hiyo kutake time kutake longer durations of time between your other battles in affects the quality of your battles na pia in affect quality ya battles generally as a whole na the scene so inabaki hai kui hai grow hai grow na hai songi as we like it to be as compared to if we are having MCs one if we have many MCs and then two if we have consistent 
battles kutoka hawa MCs trust me itakuwa itakuwa crazy because now many MCs are facing each other na kuna hiyo competition na kuna hiyo therefore ina drive your growth na na the development ya the scene as a whole so yendo argument yangu nilisema kwa review ya Tasha na Lone Wolf sound this time this time the sound the sound was was bad the microphones were bad zilikuwa zilikuwa mbaya zilikuwa mbaya ndiko zinakata the, they were losing the sound through the battles niliona sentiments about the feed ya IG na ilikuwa na difficulties siku IG I was, I was on Facebook but niliona pia complaints about feed ya IG kukuwa mbaya and people missing rounds on Instagram and then hiyo pia ni kitu inaweza shughulikiwa but the sound too because even for the podcast niliona kulikuwa na podcast episode eh yeah, sound ilikuwa mbaya sound ilikuwa so this time upande wa sound ilikuwa tricky that can be improved the b boys walikuwa the highlight of the show props kwa b boys when you come through mzishi africa b boy drift only represent their larger team ilikuwa beautiful sana kuko na hiyo element on that day on that afternoon of course b boy pia ni part of the elements za the hip hop culture so ilikuwa beautiful kuona that kazi safi sana kazi safi sana dj deep pia pala li represent with his mixing as usual kucheza kenyan kenyan staff ku put artists on the map na kusambaza kazi yao kazi safi sana that was amazing though dj deep wasaniwa kichoka usiki ama sound effects hapo <laughs> Acha tusikize hiyo silence. <laughs> Acha tusikie hiyo silence manza wasanii waki wakichoka kwa kistata wakieneza silent moments. Usi usi usiofikia wa white na sound effects. So that's my overall review about the battle as a whole na about Pasipi na Lejemos. Una filaje sentiments zako on the whole event zilikuwa gani? Which cards did you enjoy which didn't you enjoy what do you think as a growage is stuff more na feel you know the big question ni tuko nayo how can we make this how can we make mcs get more get paid by this how do we grow the culture as a whole tunatoa wapi other mcs wa kuja wa battle tuna formage other leagues zenye pia wanaweza hold battles wenyewe ndio i grow basically to ikitu isonge mbele tunafanyaje hivyo niambie in the comment section kama kama umependa hii video like share subscribe pia tuendelee ku grow pamoja